All right, so what's up? In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the vocoder. All right, now the vocoder is going to give you that cool Daft Punk effect to your vocals. All right, if you don't know who Daft Punk is, go look it up. Daft Punk is a, a huge band that used this robotic synth sound on all of their vocals, and they created these super dope songs. And I'm going to show you how you could do that same thing with your vocals in this lecture right here. All right, so check this out. The first thing you're going to need is a track with some vocals in it all right simple enough i have a track with some vocals in here right here i'm gonna let you hear the vocal sound love you forever forever all right sounds real basic right now doesn't have a whole lot of effects on it or anything like that but watch what happens when we put this vocoder on it now the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and create an instrument track all right, so you know what I'm saying? I went to this little the plus sign, select the software instrument, boom. All right, now that's created. Now, before even getting the vocoder and everything like that plugged in here, what I usually would recommend that you do is find out the, um, the main chords of the vocals here. All right, I found out this playing around on the keyboard that is played in C minor. And I found the chord progression real quick. So check this out. This is what I'll do. Love you forever, forever. Love you forever, forever. So anyway, that's I just I found some basic chords that go along with you know what I'm saying? The vocals and the, and, the, and the pitch and the key and everything and how I'm inflectuating my voice and everything like that. So you first want to go ahead and have a good idea of uh, of that before you, you know, what I'm saying get started doing anything. After you find out how to do that, then you, what you're going to do is scroll over here. All right. And click down to you till you get to vocoder synth. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Your vocoder is going to now pop up. Now, all you got to do is come over here to side chain and you want to select the, the audio channel. So I have my EverJ Vox or vocals right here. So I'll put that. Boom. And I'm going to come over here to the factory default and I'm going to select instead of synthesizer because you could just select some type of synthesize, synthesizer sound. All right. But I'm going to st instead select the vintage vocoder. I'm going to go to a clear voice vocoder. All right. Once that's selected, you're good to go. Now, what you want to do is make sure the track is armed. OK. And I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this so you can kind of see this going at the same time. All right. Not that you really need to, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So I got my chords again and I'm going to go ahead and push record. And I'm going to show you what's up. Alright, so once you get your, your, your chords played, you can go over here and actually mute this vocal. Alright, and adjust the level right here how you want it to sound. So check this out. And the reason why you didn't hear anything is because I need to quantize the track. So I'm just going to come over here and quantize it real quick. You want to make sure that you do that. Because if you don't, you're going to be like, dang, what the heck's happening? It's just like if you're making a beat, you know what I'm saying? You have to quantize it to make sure it's hitting on point. All right, so then you can come in here and you can kind of fo you know, focus on messing around with some of these different uh, you know, knobs here if you want, or you can come over here and check out something different. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 
right, so you get the point here, and I want to show you a couple other tricks which you could do with this. I just go ahead and set it at clear vocal uh, voice recorder here. Um, some other tricks that you could do is, of course, just adding effects on this as if it's a, just a, the vocals or whatever. So I might come over here to the delay here. I always will add a little delay on everything on, on vocals because that really, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just kind of livens it up. So you can come in here and just, you know, mess around with some different, different, you know, different effects. So you get the point here, you can experiment with this and, and really come out with something dope and unique. All right. And this is one of the difference, the differences between this video with vocoders, you know what I'm saying, and doing a Daft Punk effect and some of the other videos you're going to see is I'm actually kind of going a little bit deeper into some of the technicalities of this thing where you can really hone in and with using effects and I'm manipulating the different knobs and the different things on the, you know what I'm saying, on the actual vocoder, you can kind of create your own sound. You don't have to sound just like Daft Punk. You can create your own unique sound. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You can use this to make beat tags. You can use this to make, you know what I'm saying, actual songs. You can use this to make drops. You can use this effect on a lot of different things. And look, check this out. Um, I'm going to create another vocoder right here, right? I'm just going to double this. I'm going to mute this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this. And instead of having it on this audio track right here, right? You know what I'm saying? You can put it on something different. I could turn this audio, this track right here into some audio and I can put that, put, put the kick drum on it. You see what I'm saying? I can do a lot of different things with this and it's not limited to just voices. You know what I mean? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a loop real quick. We can grab some other vocals. We can grab a drum kit and I can show you, you know what I'm saying? Let the loops load real quick. But I just want to show you that, you know, the whole tip and trick to this is thinking outside the box. Okay. You know what I mean? You have one way of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the basic, okay, this is the vocoder. Then you put this right here on here and use this to side chain the steps. But as producers, engineers, creators, musicians, whatever, you want to make sure that you are stepping outside of the box. This is a jewel right here that you can use for your production. That's stepping outside of the box jewel right here. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. Let's let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a, a, a audio drum loop right here. I'm just gonna show you something. Just something real basic. Wouldn't necessarily be something that I would necessarily use, but I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna go over here to these drums. So check this out. Mute that out. You get what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think this uh this joint is coming in like off anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that right there. Yeah, the joint was coming in off. My bad on that. Um But you get the point here. I'm just trying to show you, you know what I'm saying, that you could do some different different things to create your own unique sound. So as you're going through these court the course here. I want you to keep that in mind that I'm not just regurgitating, just regurgitating information that you can find anywhere or whatever. Of course, you can do anything um, to find information that you want, but it's all about how you apply things. It's all in the application of things. You see what I'm saying? <laughs>
So hit me up if you have any questions. Maybe if anything was unclear, if you have any um, comments or whatever, hit me up in the discussions area where you can direct message me. I'm here to help you. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.